culture at large tells us we must love and accept ourselves as we are. The doctrine of self-esteem and the creed of self-affirmation have created a generation of narcissists worshiping a false god. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan with a reflection on life and liberty. Since at least the 1960s, popular culture has told people that it's okay to embrace and even celebrate their flaws, be those unnatural sexual desires, ravenous gluttony, perpetual laziness, or whatever. Frankly, it's spiritual and emotional garbage, physically destructive and morally bankrupt. Humanity has long been about the business of attempting to dethrone God by erecting gods in our own likeness. It always ends poorly. Our founding fathers recognized that in rejecting the idea that kings have some sort of right to lord over the people. They wisely created a pluralistic republic built on the biblical principles of self-governance. But self-governance, most literally, means that we must be able to govern ourselves. Yet we've become so infatuated with self-love and self-service that we're trading away our republic. Theoretically, the bargain made between a king and his people was that when push came to shove, the king would trade his life for theirs. In practice, human monarchs have always demanded that their subjects die in defense of the crown. Only Jesus, guiltless and sinless, took on the kingly duty of self-sacrifice for his people, not because we were beautiful, but because we were ugly. He loves God and us more than himself. What a contrast to our self-love culture. So, who did Jesus tell us to love? He was asked to summarize the most important commandments of God. The Gospel of Mark records Jesus as saying, God's law can be summed up as, first, to, quote, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Notice who I'm not called to love in Jesus' summary. Well, first, I'm called to love God. Second, I'm called to love others. And that's it. Culture says to look out for ourselves first. The Christianized self-help books are maybe a little bit better. They would say to put ourselves second, presumably, behind God. Yet, by my count, I don't rate any of my own affection when following Jesus' summation of the law. For our self-governing republic to function as intended, you and I must die to ourselves. The law and prophets tell us that we must, in love, serve God and serve others. The Reflections podcast is produced by Nick Shepard in the 1836 studios and presented by Texas Scorecard. If you like today's reflection, be sure to subscribe, rate it, leave a review, and recommend it to your friends. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan. Thanks for listening.